Hey, um, video number two. Sorry. <laughs> the funny thing about me and um, my long videos that I've noticed about you guys is that, um, it, you know, it's usually people that don't watch my videos that'll say, they'll say, oh my God, you should make your videos so much shorter. No one's gonna watch them. And then you guys know when I intentionally make shorter videos, all of the comments are, I wish I like your longer videos better and yada, yada, yada. So I think it's kind of funny. I'm definitely the exception to the rule in so many ways. So anyway, in my last video, I was talking about um, kind of what led up to me doing this different training approach, what I'm gonna be doing, working with Mark, and um, you know, again, the reason I was giving the backstory is to let people know you know, that this is, it's important. It's important for you guys to learn the lesson and why I'm changing and why it's good that I'm changing. And I'm also gonna be honest with you guys along the way and sharing that, yeah, it's gonna be really hard for me for two reasons, because I like cardio. I love doing Shaleen Johnson's turbo fire. I love doing combat. I love anything kickboxing. I love running and I love to do a lot of it or, you know, just kind of random and throwing it all in there. So the fact that I love that stuff, excuse me, and I, I always enjoy workouts that make me really sweaty and then you just feel like you just, you're cleansing out everything. I don't know, it just feels good to get a good sweat on. But um, it's gonna be hard for me because I really enjoy the cardio, but also because until I, it's probably gonna, there will probably be, I'm predicting. I'm predicting that I'll get into this new program two weeks and I will probably start to see such amazing differences in how I feel and how I look. Um, I believe that I will be pleasantly surprised, but there is going to be a mindset of me thinking, you know, and I'm just using this as a phrase, people, you know, I'm gonna get fat, I'm gonna gain weight, I'm not doing enough cardio, and really, that's, that's not true. Like, I know that theory about, and I don't want to be skinny fat. I don't want to be that type of cardio only person. That's never been a desire where, you know, you can get to a certain weight and yeah, you can be a certain size and be thinner, but you know, are you as healthy as someone who's really strong and really buff, um, who might be a size bigger, but is just, you know, full of strong, beautiful muscle. That's what I like, um, which is interesting that I've spent too much focus um, on the cardio side and jumping around and injuring myself versus the strength side. And you guys know from watching me for a while, that's what I enjoy. It's not that I don't like strength training. I love traditional isolation training. I love anything to do with kettlebells and ropes and um, Dynamax balls and all of this stuff. So it's all good. I just had, you know, maybe goes back to that theory I've always said that what you do, what you start a habit of, what you've done the day before, what you've done the week before is what's going to continue in your mind to be the most natural thing to do. So if you've been sick for five or six days, sorry, I'm looking for someone I'm supposed to show up. You know, if you've been sick for five or six days, laying around on the couch in your sweats with no makeup on and, and not eating enough, that, you know, having no appetite, feeling lethargic, whatever, you know, that's what your body's gonna tend to wanna do every day for the next day until you turn it around. And those first two days when you're turning it around after laying on the couch sick for a while, you know, or like when I started to get up earlier again, my body was used to going to bed really late and getting up later, like eight o'clock, sometimes 8.30, nine o'clock. My body got used to that. So the first couple of days that I started setting the alarm again, it was like, ah. You know, but then all I did was two days pull myself out of bed and realize that the second I walk around for two minutes, I'm awake. I'm not tired. It's mental. So you just have to realize whatever you've been doing for a while, that's what your body and your mind is, in my opinion, going to want to tend to, to desire to keep doing. So understand that if you want to shift something, it's that be, <gasps> I'm running out of batteries. This has been plugged in. I'm running out of batteries, you guys. Um, we're not gonna have much more time. Um, let me give you a quick preview so I can stop recording and then um, we'll see how long this video lasts. Um, but to give you an idea, I don't know if you can see, this is my circuit. Now all of this from here up, those are my warm-ups. That's my, um, he has it like an 
R-A-M-P as an acronym, and I don't know what that stands for, so metabolic, I have no idea what it stands for. I'm just seeing, I'm getting this like flashing battery light, so, um, but we're doing a lot of foam rolling, tennis ball stuff, um, hip thigh extension um, with holes, um, you know, laying on your back with um, the bands and, and one leg is lowering. I mean, just all stuff I haven't done. And then there's one, two, three, four different circuits, A, B, C, and D. One is focused on core and corrective. One is on power. One is on resistance training. And one is on, um, well, this, is, this, this last one has drop lunge and then a kneeling overhead press. So everything is incorporating core and strength. Um, and here's the thing. I went heavy, heavy, heavy. Like on the goblet squat, I used a 35 pound kettlebell, which at the pace that I'm doing and not stopping, I'm telling you guys, I was so out of breath, so sweating, and so feeling it in every part of my body. When you're doing a goblet squat and you're holding 35 pounds, you're not just working your legs. You're working you know, your core to keep yourself stable, but you're also, your arms gotta hold that up. So when you go as heavy as you possibly can, it's just a beautiful thing. So I guess I wanted to show you that this is not a long, long workout. I would say, he told me once you get into a flow, you should be able to do this in about an hour, hour and 15, but it is intense. Um, I did it two, two rounds, yesterday when I did this, so uh, one day earlier this week, I did it with him and we only did kind of just like an intro um, to each one of these. So we did each set, each exercise, whatever, um, one time through. And, and that was kind of like a mini teaser. Then I got sick Tuesday and Wednesday, excuse me, and then uh, yesterday, was it yesterday? I don't remember. I went through and I did two sets of each. So the goal being to get up to now three sets. Today I'll probably do three sets. The cool thing that I like about this too is say I'm gonna do this because I have someone coming over here to help me with some work. Say I wanted to do this at two o'clock today. I don't have to sit here and look at this and go, oh, I need to, you know, I need to make sure I have a full empty stomach. <laughs> that makes no sense. Full empty stomach. Totally empty stomach because I'm doing all this jumping around. I can just do this workout and not have to worry about whether I ate an hour before or not. That's the other cool thing. Uh, the intensity I love. The sweat factor was there. The strength. I'm loving it. I'm digging it. I'm just worried that I'm out of batteries. So I'm going to zip it. Besides, I think my... Uh, my friend just shut up. So I gotta go, but I will give you more details on this later. I'm sticking to the plan. I'm only doing the plan. I'm following it to a T. And I'm, I'm actually really excited about it. It still is hard for me to not add more, but I'm gonna follow instructions and be a good girl. We're psyched about it, right?